When the COVID-19 pandemic postponed the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, University of Arizona diver Delaney Schnell embraced a challenging but courageous routine to get back in shape after six months without diving. Cronkite News reporter Michael Gutnick shares the U.S. hopeful journey back to the top of the platform and the preparation for her deepest dive yet. Delaney Schnell is a perfectionist. But when the COVID-19 pandemic halted everything, Schnell's world wasn't so perfect. Leading up to it, it was pretty stressful because um, our pool had finally shut down and so we didn't have a place to train. Schnell's journey as a U.S. Olympic hopeful diver took an unexpected turn, forcing her to miss diving for six straight months. Luckily, the redshirt junior from the University of Arizona returned to her stomping grounds at Mesa High School to stay in shape. I was really fortunate that I had a gymnastics team that I used to train with when I was little. Um, their gym was closed, and so they allowed me to go in there um, and use the, the facility. So I was able to do some flips into like the foam pits and on the mats and at least keep up some of the diving aspects. It wasn't easy training three times a week by herself to maintain her Olympic hopes. But Delaney Schnell's mother, Cynthia Feeman, was by her side. I don't want her to come away disappointed with herself because I hate dealing with, um, I hate to see her disappointed. If she feels like she gave it her all and it was nothing she, you know, um, she's comfortable with how she dove, then I feel good too. Arizona swim and diving coach Dwight Dumay couldn't help out with Schnell's conditioning over the summer, per NCAA rules. Dumay was a little worried about Schnell rounding into form during the difficult circumstances. You never want to lose six months, especially in a fine motor sport, because all of those little details that you're trying to ingrain and, and make sure they fire in the same kinetic sequence more often than not, you lose that. When the fall rolled in, Schnell returned to the Hillebrand Aquatic Center, and despite some nerves, she was crowned Pac-12 champion in her own pool. It was pretty frustrating at first, just because, you know, things that usually click super easy were not clicking. And so it, t it took some time, but then getting back in the U of A facility, that was an incredible feeling. It was super exciting to be back there. Following Pac-12 championships, Schnell placed second at nationals in the platform dive behind only her U.S. Olympic synchronized platform partner, Taryn Gilliland. She really has the chance to be one of the greatest divers to ever come through the University of Arizona program. Um, and she also has the opportunity to be a great women's 10 meter diver in the United States and hopefully on the Olympic circuit. We got to get there first. Chanel awaits the U.S. Olympic team trials in what could be her deepest dive yet. This pandemic has really like brought out the competitors in all of us. I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens and who, you know, was able to stay strong and stay competitive and stay driven during, during the, the past year. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I mean, I'm excited, but super nervous. With the COVID-19 disruption behind her, Schnell now has a chance to make her world perfect once again. In Phoenix, Michael Gutnick, Cronkite News. The 2021 U.S. Olympic team trials are June 6th to the 13th at Indiana University.